Hmm. Oh, hi. It's your old amigo here from Brexton. I didn't see you there. I get nostalgic for a lot of things, as you know. But I'm also trying to escape my past. Too many things to cringe at. Plus, the haunting nightmares. So, I have built a time machine. Now, don't, don't get too hyped. It's not a full-blown time machine. Just a little device I whipped up to uh, jettison myself into the future. Anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye before I launch myself into the future. I'm sure everything will go swimmingly. Anyway, adios. Uh, where the fuck is the machine at? Where the fuck am I? Man, I wasted so much time building that machine for this. Why is the universe so bland? Like, what the fuck? Have you... In the future, have you fucks never heard of aesthetic? Oh my god, fucking damn it. I, got, I always get myself into these fucking pickles. Probably, probably don't even have pickles in the future. They're probably genetic hybrid fucking... I don't know, fucking clay. I, oh, fuck. You shouldn't have come to the future. You've entered my domain. Not another fucking asshole I gotta deal with. This me and I don't know one of those fucking events that goes on forever and I have to do a bunch of fucking shit. Oh my god. I'm Captain Crimson, the Time God. You abuse time travel. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why did I come to the future? On second thought, look, I'm sorry I, I abused time or whatever. I, 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 on second thought, this, this place sucks ass. I, I'm going back to my time. No, you won't. Oh god, what the fuck is that coming down? Uh, no! Uh. You shall look into your past through forgotten games of your childhood. Uh, uh, it seems like contrived writing. Why oh, would a god care anyway? Oh! I knew I shouldn't have time traveled. I fucking knew I shouldn't have time traveled. I had an inkling in my stomach. My gut was telling me, hey, Aphelm, this might not be a good idea. But what I do? I fucking mulched my stupid fucking ass right into that fucking time machine. Now I'm chained to a table. Fucking. What? There's a doll? There's fish. There's fish on a doll. Well, surely while this is an odd situation, then again, I've gotten myself into weird situations before, so I'm just not. Uh, fuck it. Supernatural should exist. I, I guess God is real. I'm probably going to hell for my sins. I, I guess the supernatural is real. I don't know what to tell you. I'm in the future of some fucking commando guy. I don't know. I'm dealt with ghosts. The Hayfin Grexon lives a weird life, eh? Surely this must be a clue, though, right? I mean, fish and a baby. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. What does it mean? What does it fucking mean? Well, he, met, he mentioned childhood games, so... Uh, baby and fish. Childhood game. Baby, baby, baby. It's a baby, it's a doll. It's a doll, so... Bobby doll. Fucking that super monster high. Brats. And fish. Wait a fucking minute. Oh my god. It's a fucking reference to Baby Bratch Fish Tank. Great, now I gotta defend Baby Bratch fucking fish tank. 
how my cool rep's gonna go down or everybody's gonna make fun of me. Okay, fine, I played a Bratz fucking baby Bratz game on the computer. It was fucking great. I, fine, I guess I have to tell you about it. Alright, before you motherfuckers go dunking on me, I have two defenses. Number one, did you really think Hey from Gruxton's childhood games would be normal? Number two, it's actually a good game. Don't let the appearance scare you away, it's not just for little girls, this game has strategy. I used to play this back in the Windows XP days. In the game you run a fish throw, you first pick four different fish when you start out and boom you're in the game. You then breed and crossbreed to get more fish and it keeps going. You keep some, you sell some, it's all about buying equipment and stuff to keep the fish going. It's basically like a store management sim game. Which is funny because it's like a kid's flash game, but man, this thing, it has fucking death to it, man. Uh, death under the water, no pun intended. See, you can get all wacky too as the crossbreeding and really just make some true evolutionary abominations that would make Charles Darwin maybe not believe in a god, but he would certainly think there was a fucking devil by the when he, he saw the fish in your fucking tank. And again, look, the game is simple, but it was fun as a kid. I guess it's baby's first RPG or something. But I recommend it, motherfucker. Baby Bratz Fish game is, is better than 95% of the shit coming out in the fucking digital game stores nowadays. Well, that wasn't so tough. That was a nice trip down memory lane, to be honest. Even though I'm gonna get made fun of at the ball later. Well, fucking... Well, you Captain Crimson, you, you all... It's not even the right shade of red. What the fuck you? What's next? Is there another one? Where's the clue at? What the... No, 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 time for time for Fuck that teleportation sequence takes it out of you. Why am I dressed as a clown? What? What the fuck? I'm dressed as some kind of fucking clown. What the fuck is this? Another... Well, it's gonna be like the fish and the weird fucking doll thing. It's gonna be another fucking clue. Okay. Assuming the whole clown thing is like this. I promise I'm not suddenly a big juggalo fucking guy or something. I promise I didn't put this on. And boy howdy, I guess I feel like a clown for time traveling. I'm that fucking meme of the guy putting the clown makeup on. Anyway, what's this stupid piece of paper? Job application. Oddly colored piece of paper. I smell cheeseburgers. I can smell burgers. Wait. Never mind, that's not a clue that is from me. Alright, eliminate the burger smell. That is just rancid human body odor. Okay. Job application. I am dressed as a clown. Hmm, what could it mean? Oh, it's related to a childhood game. I used to work at McDonald's, so that explains the job application. Wait a minute. It's just like the other one. It's an old computer game from my childhood. Oh, how the fuck am I supposed to review this stupid game? It's a McDonald's Flash game. Alright, this is a weird one. Basically, this is a McDonald's tycoon strategy game. The game is satirical and clearly not from McDonald's the company itself. The clown did not deliver this one. As the new leader of McDonald's, you gotta keep the ship sailing smoothly. This means healthy cattle, land management, and serving food. Got a sick cow? Incinerate that bitch. Need to tear down the woods for more land? Better bribe a politician. Like I said, the game is satirical. One thing I used to do as a kid is keep people waiting in line for their food for literally decades. I mean, you think your McDonald's is slow. Mine fucking millennia's past. Fucking wolves broke out, countries rose and fell, and you're fucking still sitting there waiting for your Big Mac. The only downside of the game is that it's difficult. This is definitely a fucking pro gamer type of game, because I always end up getting fired. You know, it's kind of ironic that McDonald's fired me in the McDonald's game. Because in real life, I worked for McDonald's for like three days and I quit. Fuck the clown. Fucking clowns, they suck ass, I tell you what. Anyway, that's fucking aside from the point. 
I know, I, I'm just putting off the inevitable. I know this probably gonna be another game, so I guess begin the fucking painful ass teleportation process, Captain Crimson. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> Fuck, every fucking teleportation's painful. God damn it. It's like somebody fucking crossbred electric eels and bees and fucking fruit honey on you. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Look at this. The checkers burned. I know little race call. Gee, I wonder what the fuck it means. Oh, well, it's obviously a chartered game. Chuckles. Race call. Something perplexing about this race call, too. This is a custom made race call I got for Christmas one time. Why does Captain Crimson have it? I don't fucking know. Maybe he's fucking Santa Claus. Fucking. I'm pretty, I mean, look, uh, it's not too old to narrow it down. There's not too many Checkers fucking video games out there. There's one I played, Windows XP Online Checkers. That's, uh, I'm assuming it's that. The race call in the Checkers boot, what, uh, the connection, I get it's a Checker flag in racing. Vroom, vroom. I guess that's obviously the connection. It's Windows XP, motherfucker. I hate doing game reviews, they're tedious, fuck. I guess I'll start fucking writing it. Alright, this is a simple one that I don't have too much to say about, but as you know, sadly, it's not up to fucking me if I get to review this, so I guess let's get this review rapidly roving. Windows XP Checkers was one of those built-in games that came with Microsoft Windows XP. Remember when they used to do that? Wasn't that cool? Any usual, back to the review. This was an online game where you'd play against other people, which was pretty neat for the time. The only downside is there was no fucking accountability. I mean, you it was all fucking just a bunch of Lance Armstrongs running around. I mean, you could never rank up. People would quit right before they lost, so there was just no way. Because it's Checkers, you can see when you're going to lose. Anyway, I have nostalgia for this game, but at the end of the day, it's just Checkers. I mean, not much else I can say. Hopefully, fucking Captain Crimson is satisfied. Another fucking childhood game review done. I just want to go back to my fucking... I just want to go back to the real time, the present time, the past, I guess. For just stupid fucking... What year are they even... You know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a fucking painful teller. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Well, hopefully that's the last fucking teleportation sequence. It's incredibly painful if I haven't made it fucking clear. Oh my fucking god. This is ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous, but... Hey, from... What's the point of arguing? Just think. Well... There's a briefcase. Don disc soap. And a note. Make a deal. And it's got a bunch of question marks on it. What is this, the fucking Riddler? I think I'd make a, you know, I'd make a fucking great fucking Batman. I'd fucking fuck motherfuckers up on the streets of fucking Gotham. I'd be a terrible Bruce Wayne, though. A fat, homeless-looking guy is the last guy you want endorsing you for fucking Gotham mail. That, that's beyond the point, though. Make a deal. Don Dishope and a briefcase. I don't know. What am I, a fucking, fucking... What am I? Decipher of codes? Am I a code breaker? <sighs> Tell, 
I'm rattling my fucking brain right now, and I'm sighing because I'm going to be trapped in this aluminum room, and I'm going to die, and there's going to be a skeleton in here. <sighs> Captain Crimson, I'm sure you're listening. I'm sure you're fucking, fucking, I don't know, I don't know what you're doing, fucking, fucking, fucking shoving your hand up your ass out of excitement that you finally fucking got hate from Gruxton. If you, you're fucking listening... Give me a hint. I need a clue. Make a deal, a briefcase, and a fucking Don Dish hope doesn't fucking answer anything. I mean, what the fuck? Have you figured it out yet? Well, I, I don't fucking know. Why the fuck do you think I fucking summon you? I don't... A briefcase and a deal. Briefcase and a deal. What you seek has been laid in front of you in ink. Read the note again. Deal or no deal? Deal or no deal? Deal. Wait a minute. Make a deal. Deal or no deal. A briefcase. Is your goal to embarrass me by all like the weird childhood games I have that nobody but me can relate to? I think I'm some kind of psychopath. Oh. Alright. Deal or no deal the flash game on the computer. It's a fucking deal or no deal game on the computer I played, alright? Let's fucking review it. But hang on. I'm still confused by the Don Dish joke. Like, what the fuck does the soap have to do with this deal or no deal? The host of deal or no deal was Howie Manor. Howie is a germaphobe. Alright, alright, fine. I, I fucking get the joke. It's a good one. Ah, the old deal or no deal game. A game I can guarantee that nobody else is going to be talking about. Following the trend of today's video, this was another one of those flash games on the computer that I used to play. Funnily enough though, my grandmother is the one that introduced it to me because she would play it. So that, that's a pretty fun, nice little connection. I'll, I'll have to ask her if she remembers it. That is if I ever get to the fucking past again, since I'm still stuck in the goddamn future. I mean, this is another game like the Chekhov's one that's pretty simple, but for some reason I can't explain it, but I really took a liking to the game. I, this is a game I played more than I care to admit. I mean, it's a simple game based on the game show Deal or No Deal. I don't, I don't know what else to say. This is, if you've seen the show, you know the game. It, it's just simple. It's basically the show, but stripped down. And if you've never seen the show, I'd suggest just looking it up and reading the Wikipedia article. It'll be a lot better than me sitting there trying to explain it to you. Alright, motherfucker, Captain Crimson, that's fucking it. I'm fucking done. I, re I, I reviewed four games. I'm sick of fucking Chromeville. <sighs> I'm fucking going home. I demand to go home. Yeah, that's fine. Wait. Is, is that easy? You're not gonna, like, try to do some dramatic fight with me or something? There's no need to fight. You've learned the lesson and meaning as I planned. Lesson? What do you mean? Open the briefcase. Um, another fucking task, another thing to do. Ugh, okay. So I gotta fuck home. There's a note here. Great. You know this can't be good. Oh boy, it's a long one too. Hey, Fum. You have learned to embrace your past. Brat's fishing taught you to not judge a book by its cover. The McDonald's game taught you strategy in overcoming obstacles. Online Checkers taught you how to deal with rejection. The Deal No Deal game taught you how to take chances. Oh, da, da, da. Fucking A. Dude. The fucking Captain Crimson, motherfucker. None of this is true. Oh! Oh! That kinda kills any meaning behind this! Yeah, man, I mean... These are just games, like... I have nostalgia for them, but... Yeah, the day, I'm just a regular guy. I mean... Brain chemistry and experience, I guess, taught me, like, I mean... These are really basic lessons to learn. I'm not a fuck. I'm not a fucking child, motherfucker. Oh well. Hey, sacred reveal. I'm you. Oh, how shocked you must be. Oh my god, I am so shocked. You have shocked me beyond belief. I am color me surprised. I, 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 I fell off a draft that didn't feel it because I was so shocked. 
you just want to, you know, save yourself the extra embarrassment and just, uh, I don't know, like, just send me home, for the love of God. Yeah, that's probably for the best.